Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is beta. But an important topic hai, um, in most of the credit officer level exam, if there is any question from beta, it will be from this particular session. Uh, basically, we are going to do the, the meaning of beta, right? We are going to do the intro. Uh, moving on to the types of risk, uh, systematic and unsystematic risk that we are going to do. Uh, then moving forward to the numericals. Numerical, there are hardly like uh, two, three numericals that are repeated in the exam. That's what we are going to do. So these are the three things that we are going to do. Three particular topics, yeah, contents of this whole PPT that we are going to do. Okay. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. And PNB credit officer 2024 course. It's available on bankexamstudy.com. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check. First of all, what is beta? Beta is a measure of volatility, right? For example, uh, stock price of Reliance industry, it is moving like this. Okay. It is moving like this. Okay. And then the stock price of Paytm is moving like this. So what we are going to say is the beta of Paytm is high. The beta, beta of Paytm is high as compared to the beta of Reliance Industries. Okay. So beta is a measure of volatility or systematic risk. What is systematic risk and what is unsystematic risk? We are going to do in the next slides. Okay. So it is a measure of volatility. In other words, it quantifies how much an assets return move in relation to the overall market movements. Kisi particular stock ya kisi particular asset ka price market mein kaise move ho raha hai as compared to the whole market. Okay. So if the beta, if the beta is more than one, if the beta of a security is more than one, let's say, the Reliance Industries ka beta is 0.8 and Paytm ka beta is 1.5. That means if the market uh, is going up by 100%, the Paytm stock may go up by 150%, right? And if the market is going down by 20%, the Paytm stock may go down by 30%, right? And in case of the Reliance, if the market is going down by let's say uh, 20%, the Reliance Industries stock would go down by 16% only. So that's what beta is. It quantifies because you can calculate the beta of every security. How can you calculate it? I'll let you know in the next slides. It quantifies how much an asset's return move in relation to the overall market movement. So when it comes to the stock market so overall market ka apne agar return dekhna hai, then there is nifty index is there sensex is there uh, total market index is there so uske comparison mein we check out okay so it quantifies how much a asset uh, return move in relation to the overall market and it measures only systematic risk not the unsystematic risk okay so a beta of one means Beta 1 means the asset moves in line with the market. Beta of 1, uh, kis ka hota hai? Index ka hi hai, right? So the, the value of the asset is moving along with the market. So the beta greater than 1 indicates higher volatility. Beta of less than 1 indicates lower volatility than the whole market. Okay, so that's what you need to notice. Okay. Agar ek se kam hai beta, to asset kam risky hai as compared to the market. Agar beta 1 se zyada hai, if it is more than 1, then it is a risky asset as compared to the whole market. That is what beta is. Okay. Difference between systematic risk. There are two types of risk and we are going to discuss the difference between systematic and unsystematic risk. Systematic risk refers to the the hazard associated with the market or the market segment as whole while the unsystematic risk refers to uh, to the risk associated with the particular security or the company for example a ceo ceo of a company dies that is an unsystematic he commits a, uh, a fraud it's a unsystematic risk okay but let's say there is a recession or interest rate uh, interest rate has gone up interest rate has risen that will impact all the uh, companies in the sector okay 
सो दैट इज़ अ काइंड ऑफ अ सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क जो सारी कंपनीज को सेक्टर में इफेक्ट करता है अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क वो होता है जो एक स्पेसिफिक कंपनी को इफेक्ट कर रहा है सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क आर अनकंट्रोलेबल अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क आर कंट्रोलेबल सी अगर स्कैम कर रहा है तो उसको कंट्रोल किया जा सकता है सो अनसिस्टमैटिक जो रिस्क हैं दे आर इंटरनल सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क रिस्क आर एक्सटर्नल सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क इट अफेक्ट्स लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इन द होल सेक्टर इट अफेक्ट्स अ होल सेक्टर वाइल अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क इट अफेक्ट्स अ पर्टिकुलर कंपनी टाइप्स इंटरेस्टेड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू मार्केट रिस्क परचेजिंग पावर रिस्क ऑफ द ऑफ द करेंसी अगर करेंसी की वैल्यू कम हो रही है या बढ़ रही है यू कान डू एनीथिंग अबाउट इट राइट वाइल इन केस ऑफ अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क देर आर बिजनेस इन द फाइनेंशियल रिस्क अ लॉट ऑफ रिस्क कैन बी देयर फॉर अ कंपनी हाउ कैन यू प्रोटेक्ट योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क बाय एसेट एलोकेशन वट यू मीन बाय एसेट एलोकेशन सो बींग एन इन्वेस्टर इफ यू आर एन इन्वेस्टर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इफ इट इज अबाउट योर मनी so not just into equity you are uh, investing in different asset classes for example equity gold real estate and same goes for the companies they can uh, invest in different asset classes how unsystematic risk can be uh, you know uh, you can protect yourself from unsystematic risk for example aap equity mein hi ho you are investing in different companies that is portfolio diversification instead of investing in only one uh, company you are investing in let's say 50 companies so in even if one company go bust or band ho jati hai the, even uh, that won't affect your portfolio that much it will affect by 1 or 2% only okay so i hope that is clear asset allocation you are going out of the whole asset class up uh, not just equity now you are into gold real estate currencies a lot of things you are into while in portfolio diversification you are investing in multiple uh, uh, securities okay simple formula to calculate the beta so give it a look pehle we are going to discuss the the meaning of the, each of these terms er means expected return from a security the return that we are expecting from a security ek security se hum kya expect karte hain return right that is er expected return from a security what is rf that is risk free return zero risk um, in india that is uh, rbi's t bills i would say rbi's t bills uh, t bills jo hain they are totally kind of risk free i would say uh, वो डिफॉल्ट होने के चांसेस बहुत कम है इफ दैट डिफॉल्ट द होल कंट्री इज गोइंग टू डिफॉल्ट सो आर बी टी बिल्स दे आर वर्चुअली रिस्क फ्री प्रोडक्ट्स राइट दैट इज आर एफ बी मीन्स बीटा आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट आर एम मीन्स रिटर्न ऑन द मार्केट पोर्टफोलियो सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टॉक मार्केट द रिटर्न ऑन निफ्टी फिफ्टी दैट इज मार्केट रिटर्न ऑन मार्केट एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न ऑन द मार्केट पोर्टफोलियो आर एफ अगेन मीन्स रिस्क फ्री रिटर्न आर एम माइनस आर एफ दैट इज मार्केट रिस्क प्रीमियम ओके द लेट से द मार्केट इज जनरेटिंग टेन परसेंट रिटर्न द रिस्क फ्री रिटर्न इज सेवन परसेंट यू आर गेटिंग थ्री परसेंट फॉर इन्वेस्टिंग इन द मार्केट सो दैट इज मार्केट रिस्क प्रीमियम दैट इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न ऑन द मार्केट पोल पोर्टफोलियो एंड रिटर्न ऑन द रिस्क फ्री एसेट क्लास ओके so we got a question very important question uh, you will see such questions in your exam uh, repeat hote hain bar bar you need to find out the beta the using the same formula first of all you need to remember the formula risk free return expected return is equal to risk free return plus beta uh, multiplied by market premium market risk premium okay so er you can do it yourself er is equal to risk free return plus risk free return uh plus beta multiplied by market risk premium okay so here the expected return is given as 13.45% risk free return is given as 7% uh beta we uh, need to calculate okay market risk premium we need to calculate again so 16.2 is expected uh, expected return from the market portfolio minus the risk free uh, return so easy uh, you know uh, equation that you can easily solve okay not very complicated 6.45 is equal to uh, 
that is beta 9.2 so beta is equal to 0 0.701 so that's your answer very easy okay uh, let's do the next question the kind of question you're going to see in your exam so cost of equity of a firm with beta of 1.5 percent uh, 1.5 not percent sorry risk free rate of interest is 6 percent expected return on the market portfolio is 15 percent so cost of equity we need to find out uh, beta uh, what is the beta here it's six percent uh, no it's not beta it's risk free return is six percent plus beta is 1.5 okay and uh, return on the market portfolio 15 percent minus risk free return is six percent okay so six plus 1.5 multiplied by nine you, you can easily find out your answer right so it's six plus 13.5 uh, okay i guess yep 13.5 so your answer is like 19.5 that's your answer very easy question not very complicated and then find the required rate of return for equity investors of a firm with beta beta is given again 1.3 that's a beta risk free return is given market risk premium is given very easy question pause the video and try to solve it yourself you're going to see such questions in your exam expected rate of return you need to calculate uh, risk free return plus beta multi by multiplied by the market risk premium so what is market risk premium here that is five percent what is the beta here 1.3 multiplied by market risk premium rm minus rf market risk premium okay risk free return is five percent so you can easily calculate that five plus eight percent that's 13 percent very easy question not very complicated and you're going to see such questions in your exam both easy say questions hai. essay questions aapko exam mein dekhne ko milenge. not very complicated at all you're going to see such questions in your exam i have seen similar questions in the exam multiple times let me tell you uh, what can you expect in your exam let's repeat ourselves uh <clears throat> question ek paper mein aaya hai. beta is a measure of systematic risk that is the question number one let me add the stars let me change the color so that you'll get to know what to expect in the exam that is the first question beta measures the systematic risk okay that's the point number one point number two if beta is equal to zero what does that mean if beta is equal to, uh, is more than one if beta is less than one I have seen this question in the exam multiple times one and two second question okay uh, moving forward uh, the meaning of systematic and non-systematic risk I have seen this multiple time a risk associated with external factors that is unsystematic risk I have seen this multiple times and portfolio diversification can uh, protect you from unsystematic risk I have seen this question multiple times yes are question I am marking stars here okay then this formula I have seen not directly from this uh, particular essay directly nahi hai. but this question particularly this question I have seen this multiple times this is the same question and then this one market risk premium likha hua hai. so these are the five six question that I have seen multiple times in the exam and these are very important for your exam please do this and for more such videos join the PNB SO credit officer course in which we are providing complete video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check the description. And that's all for today students. I hope you like the today's session. Uh, list of our successful students. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really really happy for them. You can be one of them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.